So hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, and ring that bell so you know when new videos um, are being posted. For those of you who are returning, I'm going to be taking you on a journey of something that I usually don't do, uh, and that's venture out into the public in this COVID lid rid land. Uh, but I lost at the short straw and I need some sustenance. So dad, when it's time to go out there, brace yourselves. So you know, look, I got this shirt. Please don't make me do stuff today. Cause I ain't got time for all that. Just let me go to the store, get what I need and go on about my business. I got my, my, my mask, I got my shades. You know what the shades gonna do? I don't know, but it just it just you feel more protected <laughs> with the shades on. But anyway, I lost that short straw. I'm about to pull out and go into this COVID ridden land and see if I can get what I need off of my grocery list. Make sure you have a list, Dad, so you can just get in and get the heck out. Cause you ain't got no time for all that shenanigans out there. So I'll be back with y'all in just so guys, I just realized while I'm driving over to the store to get my substance that usually I'm a defensive driver, you know, looking around and stuff like that. But these days with Corona, you have to be in an offensive lookout for Miss Rona. Yes, I have personified the virus because you ain't got no time for her to sneak out of a corner, up from a tree, behind a bush, to jump on the back of your neck on your arm, on your chest, on your face. You ain't got time for all of that. So when you go out to the store, dads, make sure you wear all the protective gear that you need, your mask, get your sanitizer, your hands, because you got them babies to come back. Ooh, I, th I thought I just saw Miss Rona crossing the street. But anyway, you got you got to get back to them babies to cook dinner for them tonight, okay? Be safe out there while you get your substance. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go up to this store to get my substance and uh, it's not that I'm a scaredy cat, you know, it's not that at all. It's just, I, I'm afraid of those people who aren't being considerate of me trying to protect them, looking out for their safety. The ones who choose not to be considerate and not wear their mask and stuff. Them are the people that I'm afraid of. Cause if they don't care about themselves, they sure the hell ain't gonna care about us. So anyway, let's go on over here. I got my recycle bag. Take your recycle bag. So you quit using all them plastic bags. I mean, I wish we would go into what New York went into. You, they just have recycle bags these days. They don't have any of more of those plastic bags. So do what, do your best effort to, to help protect this, this earth of ours. Get one of these recycle bags. Mine is from Aldi's. Oh, I can't, shouldn't say that because they're not sponsoring me. But anyway, there's all different stores. You can get it from all these publics. Walmarts, all of them have these like recycle bags. So go ahead and um, if you don't have any of those stores where you live, Kroger's or you know wherever store you go to, do your effort and get those, okay? So I'm at the store and what I'm getting today is I'm going to be having a friend come over, social distance, because um, we're just gonna hang around the pool. He enters from the back side of the house and uh, we're gonna have ourselves some lunch. Today I think I'm gonna be making um, a steak and onion sub um with a light green salad and just some fresh berries for uh on the side um but anyway i'm at this grocery store i got my list i'm just gonna go and hurry up and shop so i can spend as little time up in this joint as possible and then we'll get back home we'll do some little cooking so you guys i'm at the red light but um i was in and out quick quick you, I had my list, so you don't need to be sticking around for seeing no shenanigans. You don't have a chance to, to run into Miss Rona. Um, so uh, today's lunch, we're going to be making a steak and onion sandwich on some Puerto Rican bread. Um, a homemade tomato soup. And we're going to have some fresh berries with cream as a light um, into our lunch. So when we get back to the house, we'll start marinating that, that steak. So welcome back. We're back at the house. And just to let you all know, um, today I'm filming for myself. Uh, the youngest is not here to film with me. So we're just going to get this started. We're going to do the best we can. Um, I'm going to have some walkie um, camera angles, and I apologize for that. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a whole onion, and we're going to cut that up. I know a whole onion sounds a lot for a steak. And onion sandwich, 
But that's what it is, a steak and onion sandwich. And don't forget to use your bags. You know, I always like to use these bags as trash bags. So we're gonna put that up in the sink and we're gonna take a whole onion. It's a medium onion. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the top off like so. Throw that in your trash bag. And we're gonna turn the onion over so it's sitting down like so. And we're gonna leave the root part in so we can have something to keep it together. And from this point, we're just gonna have half onion um, like rings when we cut them up. At this point, you can really easily go ahead and peel your onion. And when we get back, we're just gonna be slicing up the onions. Like I said, it's gonna be really janky, filming janky. All right, so we got our onion peeled and we're just gonna get rid of all of this onion trash. And you got two halves here. So what we're gonna just do, we're just gonna slice the onion um, pretty thin slices. So we're just gonna do some really thin slices for our um, steak and onion um, sandwich. So you get that onion, we're gonna just do two halves, um, get those onions sliced up there like so here's a little trick dads if you one of these criers when you're doing onions if you sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on your cutting board it it cancels out the acids that are the little the fumes that causes um the acid that causes the crying um so if you sprinkle lemon juice on it but we we're in here for a short time so i don't think anyone's gonna be crying unless you're crying for some other reason you know, we got a lot to be crying about these days, but uh, if it's because of the onions, that's a little trick you can use. And so we're gonna put our onions straight into our marinating bag, because it's all gonna get the same marinade that we need. Now, we're gonna go on the refrigerator, we're gonna get, we just got some round steak. So we get our round steak, and then we're gonna add that to the bag. I'm gonna get me a pair of tongs. And add those round steak to the thing. If you go sometimes early in the morning, sometimes you can find um, your meat on sale. This was not on sale, but I got a pretty good deal on it. So you can see they're really thin slices, and it's probably just two. This is just going to be the two of us, so we're going to have a nice meaty steak sandwich today. Now, I've added the steak into my marinating bag. Get rid of my paper here. Gonna give myself a really quick rinse and wash, cause you know I like to wash my hands. So when we get back, we'll be um, finishing off marinating the steak. Okay, so I did a quick rinse. So what we're gonna do is, you know I always like to have my seasons ready. So what I did was, in a bowl, I combined some salt, some pepper, some paprika, so a tablespoon of salt, because meats love salt. They like flavor. So a tablespoon of salt, a half tablespoon, well, so I'll say a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, um, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and that's my seasoning for my marinade. Before I put the seasoning in, what I'll do is I'll put a tablespoon or so of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, just so that the seasons have something to hang on to. And at this point, I also will put a quarter cup, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. It's gonna become a nice dark, color. So once that's done, I'm going to just put in my seasoning. Straight into the bag, straight into the bag, no problem. Straight into the bag. And then we're going to seal this mother up and make sure it's really sealed really well. So get yourself one of these bags that you know it's sealed when you seal it up. And I'm going to let the air, I'm going to push the air out of it and continue to seal it up. Okay, and then with our hands, we're just gonna give it a nice massage. Ooh, just massage that really massaged and marinated. You're just gonna put this in the refrigerator when it's time for us to cook that. And that's pretty much it. When we get back, we are going to cook our steak and onions for our steak and onion sandwich. And we'll make uh, get started on that tomato soup. 
So let's get started on our semi-homemade tomato soup. So what we'll need from the pantry dads is, parents, um, is we'll need a can of tomato soup. Again, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so I just get a generic can. A can of uh, condensed tomato soup and a can of diced tomatoes. And we'll work on that in just a little bit. So we're not gonna make a lot of soup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a, a small um, saute pan or soup pan, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna put the um, heat on medium, a medium heat. And we're gonna just add our condensed can of soup, tomato soup into our pot. Remember, I'm a spatula guy, so I need you to spatula all that stuff in there. Don't leave like half of the can still in there and throw it away because you watch those other shows where they don't scrape out their ingredients into the pot. Now, the can, to fix the can of soup, this can of soup, it calls for one can of water. But we won't put water in our soup today. Then you get a little mixing spoon. Let me get a little wooden spoon here. Uh, we're not going to use the water, but we're going to use the juice from the can of diced tomatoes that we got. So we're just going to put a quarter cup of, of that um, diced tomatoes, and we're going to use a lot of the juice in there, and that's that's the water that is called for. So we're only going to put half of what it calls for, which is kind of a cup. So we're going to put half a cup of the tomato juice water in there. And um, to make it a little creamy, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some milk instead. So I've already got my seasons together like I always do. What I did was I got a eighth cup of granulated sugar and that sugar is gonna help cut down on the acidity of your tomatoes. Um, I got a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And we're just gonna put all of that into our soup. There you go. A lot of that white that you just saw fall in there, some of, most of that is the sugar. And you give that a quick stir. And while we're giving that a stir, because it's gonna cook up really quickly, we're just gonna get our milk and we're gonna pour half a can of milk, well, I'll say three quarters of a can of milk, and we're gonna add that into our soup. And it makes for a creamier, nice soup. Get that all blended because when it cooks up, you don't want it to separate. So what we're gonna do is after this, after we put in the milk, we're gonna put a lid on top and let this soup simmer. And when it's all simmered up, maybe look to keep scraping the sides so the sides don't collect a film because soup does film up. So you guys, we let this soup get to a simmer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of butter to our um, soup. So about a, a tablespoon of a pat of butter into the soup just to give it a little bit of creamy, weemy, weeminess. And then we kept our soup going just so it doesn't form a film. <clears throat> on the bottom. We don't want that little nasty film to form. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna set this to the side, put that butter in there, cover it up. <clears throat> we're gonna set that to the side and then we're gonna go for our little frying pan because we're gonna start cooking the um, steak for the steak sandwiches. So we'll be right back. All right, so we've put our soup over to the side and we've got our pan out. We don't need any EVOO in it because remember we marinated our steak with some oil, so we won't need that. So what we're gonna do is go get our pan and what we wanna try to do is get as many onions out so we can caramelize our onions in this pan. So I'm going to separate the steak from our onions and see if we can get those things cooking up for some goodness. If you don't get them all out, no, no big deal. We just, we, you know, we just want to do as many onions as we can. So I put a few onions in. I'm just going to take this steak, take the steak, and I'm just going to shake them, shake the onions off of them, like so. Then we're going to just put our onions into our fry, and we're going to let those caramelize a little bit. 
We're going to add a little butter um, to help the process along. We're going to get a pat of butter. And see the rest of the butter. Remember, I'm going to scrape it. So scrape that butter in there. And we're going to caramelize our onions. Ooh, I wish you guys could smell this thing. With the balsamic vinaigrette and the uh, uh, olive oil and the seasonings that we use, just salt, pepper, a little paprika. Remember, your meats, they love seasoning. So we're going to let that go for a little bit. As you can see, it's going there for a little bit. And when these have had a chance to caramelize, we're going to remove them from the stove, and then we're going to add our steak, and we're going to cook our steak, and then we're going to assemble our sandwich when we get back. Um, we'll have our soup and our sandwich, and it's going to be time to eat. Now, to help this flavor along, I forgot to tell you that I'm going to add a habanero pepper. Now, I have a jar of pickled habanero peppers, and in a, a, a series later on, I'll show you how to get that done. Now, I'm not going to cut it up or whatever. I'm just going to get a, a habanero pepper, a whole, and I'm going to add it to my onions. To help the caramelization along, I put a teaspoon, just a teaspoon, of brown sugar in there. Now, with that habanero pepper in there, it's going to heat that thing up because habanero peppers are really hot, 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 hot. But I'm going to add it to, add it to that, and before I serve, of course, I'm going to take it out. And I just want the habanero to kind of give it a little bit of a kick to my onions. And again, you're going to put that... Um, teaspoon of brown sugar to help the caramelization along. All right, we'll be right. Our onions are done. We're gonna just put them to the side in a bowl. And when we assemble our sandwich, we're gonna do that. Again, I'm gonna leave the habanero pepper in there so it can continue to flavor this, these onions. Now we're just gonna put our steak in and we're gonna give them a light cooking. We still want them to be at a medium. Um, for the sandwich. So because we had the we had the oil on them, there's no need to oil your pan. However, after they've gotten a little brown, I'm gonna add some I'm gonna add some butter just to, to get it take it over to flavor pan. And if you let them leave them gathered up, that gives them a chance to not overcook. So like I said, we kind of want a medium up in there, so we'll let them sit for a little bit, probably like three minutes, and then we'll we'll re we'll we'll flip them over so they can get a little bit more brown. All right. So we gave our steak about a three-minute saute session in this pan, um, and then we're gonna turn down the heat. Well, we're gonna actually turn it off. And what I did was I took that habanero pepper and I stuck it back up into the pan to give that the little kick that it needs. So we're just gonna cover up this pan here and just let it continue to simmer under a no heat um, uh, stove. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go get my Puerto Rican bread and you can get whatever bread you like. I particularly like the Puerto Rican bread I don't know if it's a brand or whatever, but I get this loaf from the store. It's, uh, it runs me about a dollar. But I like it because of the softness, but it holds juices really, really well. Like the juice from the steak and the onions gonna be a part of the sandwich, so it holds it really well. But a uh, hard baguette or uh, sub rolls, whatever suits your fancy. So we're gonna cut this up and assemble our sandwich in just a little bit. So my friend Steven has arrived, but like I said, we're socially distancing, so I had him into the house from the back because we're gonna hang out, we're gonna eat outside and hang out by the pool time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble this sandwich. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Puerto Rican bread. I told you it holds the, the, um, the moisture of all the juices that we need um, for this meat really, really well. So we're gonna take our loaf and we're gonna have a pretty, um, hearty sandwich. So I'm going to cut it slightly on a bias. And I'm going to use today, for today's lunch, I'm going to use the, the two ends of the bread. And I'm just going to cut it in the middle just to give it a little pocket, like so. Cut it in the middle, give it a little pocket, like so. And then voila, you have it open up. 
like this. Then you're gonna add your steak, and then you're gonna add your onions. And when we plate that all together, we're going to go outside and we're gonna have a nice lunch. So for our dessert or just our afternoon snack after our lunch, what I did was I cut up some strawberries and I got some Cool Whip and I'm going to assemble our little dessert. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these little clear glasses because it's just presentation. So I'm gonna line it up with some Cool Whip on the bottom, didn't make it homemade. We did that last time. I'm gonna add some strawberries and then some more Cool Whip. And it's not pretty, it's not gonna be a pretty, you know, thing. Just You just wanna have a light little dessert. Some more strawberries and then I'm gonna top it off with some more whipped cream. Garnish it with a little piece of strawberry on top, just so we know what we're having. And a fresh strawberry and cream. Isn't that pretty? So we plated our sandwich and our soup, and I'm gonna go, we're gonna go outside and um, kick it by the pool. So we'll see you later. Thanks for joining me.